back to another lip balm review. This is one that came out last summer and I thought I would have gotten to way sooner than this, but I'm just now getting to. Yeah, because I was doing all of the comparison videos like every friggin' day last summer. There's a lot of stuff that I'm only just now finally getting around to, so we are just now getting to the tinted chapsticks, the total hydration ones. This one is rose petal, which mainly I'm just doing this one first since I'm, I'm in pink today, so it seems like it'd go better. Now, I have no idea what to expect with these. I am not even sure if I've watched any reviews of other people's on these yet. So, usually I try to wait, unless it's something I can't find, I usually try to wait till after I've reviewed it to watch other people so it doesn't taint my own review, but like, look, look how dear, how dark, how dark it looks in the tube. It looks like it'll be super pigmented, but then again, I could be wrong. It could be like a baby lips, it could be like no sugar, it could be something else entirely. I don't really know what to expect, but I'm very excited to try them. I actually really, really want to try the red one, but again, I'm in pink. May as well do the pink today, so... This one is in Rose Petal, and they call it Tinted Moisturizer, and basically anything chapstick that has moisturizer in the name feels amazing, so I'm basically really excited for that. I'm not sure if it's going to smell like rose or not. If it does, I don't know what the coral one would be like, because Merlot, it might smell like wine. This could smell like rose. What the fuck would coral smell like? Coral doesn't have a smell, so <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea, so... Yeah, there's really nothing great on the back with which to look at. I mean, there's the ingredients list. If we want to look at that, we've got sunflower seed oil, jojoba esters, candelilla wax, coconut oil, beeswax, caprylic triglyceride, carnauba wax, castor seed oil, rosehip seed oil, carmine, tocopherol acetate, shea butter, mango seed butter, um, octyl dodecanol, olive fruit oil, avocado oil, titanium dioxide, tocopherol, that's vitamin E, um, hydrogenated soybean oil, flavor, jojoba seed oil, iron oxides, raspberry seed oil, and glycerol stearate. So actually, this sounds a lot closer to being an organic balm than most chapsticks, because this, if you notice, no petrolatum. So that actually, I'm not sure if this qualifies it as organic, but it's a hell of a lot closer to it than just about any other chapsticks other than the three lip butters. So that's exciting! That is exciting. But yeah, hint of color. 100% up! Oh, I'm stupid! 100% natural right on the cover. I'm fucking retarded. We already knew that. Um, advanced moisturizing formula with rose hip and jojoba oils. Instantly smooths and moisturizes. Enhances natural lip color. Cool, cool. And I just got the low battery warning. God damn it, really? Okay, so let's open this up and hope it doesn't die on me while I'm doing this. Okay. Come to me. Okay, so. There's no expiration date or even a toss after so and so many months, which is weird for a natural product, but whatever. So here is the tube. It mostly looks like the regular Total Hydration, except that it's clear in the top, I guess, so you can see the color. So that's kind of cool. Um, I always like the way that these feel, although this one feels more plasticky. My, what is it, the Juicy Peach one? It's the peach one, regardless. That one feels like it's metal because it's really cool to the touch, whereas this just feels like plastic. That's so odd. I have no idea what's up with that, but anyway, still kind of cool. But yeah, so format-wise, it is a stick. There is the color. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so get that much product. Pretty good. Um, the weird thing is that it's got the exact shape of a brand new chapstick, even though my brain is going, no, dude, that's totally like a baby lips. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's not a baby lips. It's a chapstick. So what am I looking for? What the hell? Oh, um, it's 0.12 ounces. So that's actually a little bit less than is usually in a standard stick, but that's okay. Oh, I guess it's on the tube, too. I am just retarded. All right. Um, Packaging-wise, it's very nice and silvery and just looks really nice. I love the shade of pink that they used on it. Um, they're not limited edition. These, you can always find these now. Like, if nothing else, look at Target. They always have, like, a huge display there. But I've seen these a lot of places at this point. They were impossible to find originally, or at least one of them was. I forget which one it was, but two of them were super easy, and then, like, the third one 
might have been the coral, was just, like, damn near impossible to find until they finally added it on their website, but I digress. At this point, you can find them all. Super easy. I don't remember what the price point was on these, but I remember it was a little bit more than the normal Total Hydrations, which makes sense since they're tinted. Usually tinted products are, so I feel like they were four or five bucks. Am I in the right realm, guys? Let me know in the comments. Um... You guys always know better than I do. I always feel so bad that I even have that as a thing that I include in here, but since I almost never remembered, I'll friggin' look before I actually get on here and review them, but that is beside the point. So sturdiness-wise, let's see. But the cap, this is actually super, super sturdy-feeling plastic. Like, I feel like even if I were pissed off, I could not break this. That's amazing. The tube itself leaves a little bit to be desired because it turns way up here and that always makes me nervous because I've seen them go horribly wrong. Like this goes for lipsticks too, by the way. Um, let me show you closer up. You can see that line right there. That point of motion is notorious for busting off. In case you guys have never seen one ha have that happen, I've witnessed it. A lot of times. It's kind of ridiculous how many times I've seen it. But, um, yeah, turn wheels very, very glidey on this one. So be very careful with this in your purse because it could easily go smush right into the cap because there's, like, no wiggle room there, guys. So if it turns in there, it's done. So be careful of that. Just saying, you might want to put it in a lipstick holder in your purse instead of just throwing it in the purse. Just safeguards. They're a good thing. But yeah, so no special features like medication or SPS. So let's see if it has a scent, because I'm very interested in this. It does smell like rose! Oh my god! That actually makes me really happy! Oh my gosh, and I think I just got it on my nose. Bloody hell. But um, I wonder if all three of them smell like rose, or just this one because it has rose in the name. Oh my gosh, that smells so good! And it's not even like artificial rose, this is like legit rose water. Like, true story, when I was little, my favorite perfume in the world was Roses, Roses by Avon, and I still kind of enjoy how it smells. I can't wear perfumes anymore at this point because of my allergies, but it's still a very lovely scent. I kind of have a soft spot for rose scents, so I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that smells really good. Okay, let's swatch on the hand, and then we'll put it on, and we will get on with it. This definitely has more color payoff than I was expecting from a chapstick. That is cool. That is actually quite on par with some of the newer baby lips that have more pigmentation to them. And I need my cap back. But um, I'm actually surprised. I wasn't expecting it to have quite so much payoff for the pink one. I was expecting this for, like, the red one. So now I'm, like, really excited for that red one now. So let's try it on. We're going to see how it looks. And we're going to ignore my clothes hanging on the back of the bathroom door that are trying to air dry that were on my shower door, but then I took a shower and it got wet and I couldn't have them hanging from that because they'd get wet and I'm babbling. Ooh, that feels really good too. Ooh. Such a pretty color. Could be like a rose flush sort of thing. Yeah. Trying to get to the corners. I am actually amazed that this has as much color as that. I was really not expecting the pink one to even show up, if I'm being honest. So the fact that it's got this much color, I am a happy girl right now. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Oh my gosh, that is actually really pretty. I never would have expected to have liked the pink one this much. I actually really, really dig this. This is nice. Then again, it's almost red, so, you know, that, that helps. Let me, ah, right, uh, right, let me keep it well. All right. That is really nice. It smells so good. I cannot get over how good that smells. Ooh, you totally still smell it when it's on your lips. Oh my gosh, that makes me happy. Okay, so, consistency-wise and thickness-wise, it's pretty thin. But when it's actually on your lips, I shit you not, this feels like lipstick. It's got that creamy consistency of a lipstick. 
like, it's not sticky or anything, but it's, like, a moisturizing feeling lipstick. I'm like, whoa, this does not feel like a lip balm, and it definitely doesn't feel like a chapstick. That's impressive. That is very impressive. Let's have a flavor. I'm not expecting it to, but... They had to have added rose water to this, because I know the taste of rose water. That is rose water. It's not really supposed to be a flavor, just I can tell it's in there, so I don't think it's it's flavored, but, you know, you, you can taste the roses in this, so it's very floral scent for those who don't know what rose water tastes like, which, thank you, Captain Obvious, I know, but, um, anyway. Moisturization-wise, I'm not positive, because my brain is going, this feels like a lipstick, and if it feels like a lipstick, it's probably gonna dry out your lips, but I'm going, but no, it's a chapstick, and it's a total hydration chapstick, and it's gonna do a good job, damn it. At least I hope. <laughs> so, I mean, there's that. Um, shine factor, it's got some shine to it. Hard to tell if the color application is really that even. I feel like it's not. I feel like it's patchy. That's like my only issue with it is that it does feel a bit patchy in how it looks. It's not as obvious in this tone, but I feel like in the red and the coral, it's going to be a lot more obvious. But in this one, not the end of the world, but still probably going to dock it a point for that. But, you know, it is a tinted lip balm. What can you expect? It's not a lipstick. Um, let us check the drink test real quick. It still feels like it's fully on. I'm not sure color-wise, though. Ooh. It doesn't look like it wore... Oh, wait. Yeah, it did. Never mind. It failed. Darn! If we were just going on feel, I still feel it there, but the color... Yeah, okay. Damn. But still, it holds up better than most tinted lip balms do to the drink test, so... I don't know. Yeah, okay. Okay, I do see more of it that's gone. Yeah, that's a fail. So what am I gonna rate this one? Um, let me think. Um... I'm gonna dock at a point for just how loose that turn wheel is and the fact that it could very easily smash into the top of this without hardly any provocation. Um, the patchiness of the color, drink test, and that might be my only issues here. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I think that's all. So I think I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I still highly recommend it. It smells heavenly, feels really great on, but it does have a couple of points that are worth mentioning that are a bit weak. But other than that, I think it's a good product and I think it's worth owning, so pick it up if you haven't already. So anyway, that's all I have to say for this one. So as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. Uh, leave comments down below. Do you guys have this one? If so, what did you guys think of it? Uh, let me know in the comments as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Until next time, bye!